Hello children, today we are going to study the poem Unfolding Heart by Naoshi Koriyama. It's given on page number 36. So let's go to page number 36. So the poem is Unfolding Heart, page number 36. The name of the poem is Naoshi Koriyama. Now Naoshi Koriyama is a Japanese poet. As the name suggests, he is a Japanese poet, right? He's written many uh, poems. Now, we'll go to page 37 and very quickly we will read about the poet. And here you can read and the first thing in the notebook that you do is copy everything about the poet. Copy down everything about the poet. I'll read out the last two lines which says, this poem compares the flowering of a water lily to the process of understanding of a poem. It is a simple poem but rich in meaning. So underline these two lines. These two lines are very important for us. Why? Because they tell us what this poem is all about. What is the poet trying to tell us? It seems to be a simple poem. It is very short and precise. It has got three paragraphs, right? You can see on page number 36. It is a simple one. Simple language is used, but it is difficult to grasp. The meaning is very deep and very hidden. Now coming to the poem, the first word of the poem is unfolding. What is the meaning of the word unfolding, right? So when we look at the different meanings, one meaning could be revealing. Note down the words, right? These are synonyms. Similar meaning words are synonyms. So one word of unfolding that is similar in meaning is revealing. Second is displaying. And third is manifesting. Right? So manifesting, showing something. I can also give another word which is showing show something to make something visible and we know what is a bud right a bud is the initial stage of a flower before a flower the phase that is there is a bud now in bud stage the flower the petals are tightly closed and nothing is visible to the observer right so there is a time period when the bud changes into a flower Right? It's a gradual, it's a very slow process of the bud changing into a beautiful flower. So this poem is unfolding, that means revealing of the bud, the changes of the bud to the flower. Right. So we begin. So one thing to remember here is, I told you, comparison of two things are done in this poem. What are those two things? Number one, the process of understanding of any poem right the second thing is the flowering of a bud the revealing of the bud both these two one and two these two things are compared by the poet right now both these things are gradual they are slow processes they are very gradual they are time consuming consuming right so it takes days days for this conversion when the bud changes into a flower number one number two when we look at the picture on page number 36 we see a beautiful picture of an aquatic flower we also see the buds these are the buds can you see the buds these are the buds and the bud has become a beautiful flower now look at the surrounding Look at the surroundings where this flower is growing. And there is a resemblance of this flower to the lotus flower. Right? But this is not lotus. This is a water lily. And water lily is an aquatic plant. Right? Aquatic means water. Aqua means water. So when we look at this, it looks like a lotus flower. Now why water lily which is resembling a lotus? Because... The flower grows in dirty water. When we look at the water, it is dirty. Right? It is not clean. 
but look at with the flower how beautiful it is despite growing in dirt swampy water it is the most beautiful flower it looks so nice so elegant to the eyes so the poem is trying to also convey that you may be in very difficult situation your environment may not be very conducive it may not be very positive but what you become out of that environment what you become how you shine in life is far more important than your environment so let us not focus on the environment on the trivial problems we have let us focus on what we become right so this is another point that we should note down right so this is it and the third thing is the bud and the poem the poem when we read for the first time reading of a poem for the first time is like a tightly closed bud right so this is the bud right so the bud is closed the petals are hidden nothing is visible color is not visible petals are not visible so first reading of any poem is like a tightly closed bud but when we read the poem many times multiple times you can say many many is multiple then you understand the poem understanding of the poem is when you read and read it many times to get the hidden message of the poem so let's go to the poem line by line paragraph 1 one is amazed by a water lily unfolding with each passing day taking on a richer color and new dimension one is amazed amazed underline amazed it means surprised one is surprised when one sees a water lily unfolding slowly opening up with each passing day every day the water lily bud changes its color it is taking on a richer color and it is taking on a new dimension underline dimensions dimension means shape and size that also changes initially it is small then it changes into a bigger flower initially the colors are not visible they are light and dull when it opens up gradually the colors become very bright and very intense very attractive to look at right going to the second paragraph one is not amazed at a first glance by a poem which is as tight closed as a tiny bud one is not surprised underline amazed it means one is not surprised at a first glance underline glance glance is look another word for glance is glimpse g l i m p s e so one is not surprised when one looks at a poem first glance first reading first looking at a poem one is not surprised because the poem is like a tightly closed bud a small bud where nothing is clear the meaning of the poem is not revealed to the reader so first reading of the poem is compared to a tightly closed bud where the poem reveals nothing the bud also reveals nothing yet one is surprised to see the poem gradually unfolding revealing its richer inner self as one reads it again and over again still one is surprised the poet says in the last paragraph to see the poem gradually unfolding revealing its rich inner self underline revealing its rich inner self this means revealing the hidden meaning okay let me write it here for you this means the hidden message or the moral or the meaning yeah this is the hidden message or the meaning which the poet wants to convey to the reader that is only conveyed this is what it means in this line revealing its rich inner self as one reads it again and over again 
as we read the poem again and again and again. It could be five times, it could be six times, it could be maybe multiple times. But only after doing that effort and practice do we get to know the hidden meaning or the message of a poem. Change, two things that change in this process to the bud. What happens to the bud? There are two things that are changing. One is the color changes. And second is the dimension of the bud changes. Right? This is a question on the next page. So you should know the answer. The colors become bright and intense. Right? And the dimension increases. Its shape, size and color. Two things are changing. Right? So this is this poem. It's a beautiful poem. And you need to remember these points. Please write them down in a sheet. On a sheet. And you can paste the sheet here itself. Right? So this is it. And any doubts, please go through the poem. Highlight, underline what is important for you. If there is still a doubt, uh, you, can, you can get back. In the Zoom class, we will clarify and I will redo everything with you. Thank you so much.